YouTube! How are you guys doing? I'm going to talk about my experience in self-defense class and what I did and what I learned and how I learned it and all that fun stuff. The thing I learned in self-defense class was how to fall properly so you didn't hurt yourself and so the person couldn't like jump on you and friggin clobber you and beat the shit out of you. One, if it was if the certain situation was level one and like the person grabbed you all you would have to do like if, if they're big no offense to the big people out there i'm very sorry if i offend you all you have to do is like pinch the bottom of their arms and they'll let go or like nicely punch them in the neck i don't know why i said nicely you can't just like nicely punch somebody in the neck and be like Oh, I'm gonna nicely punch you in the neck. It's not gonna hurt, I promise. And then go BAM! <laughs> Oops. Sorry. It's impossible to punch somebody in the neck nicely. All two. All you have to do is if like they're coming at you, just just take your hand like this. You don't punch like this, you punch like this. And you punch them really hard in the face. And you go BAM! And then you kick them, kick them in the kneecap and make them fall. And then run. Or just turn the other cheek, whichever one you want. But I choose to punch him in the face, kick him in the shin, and then run. Then again, that's just me. And I'm not making this I'm not making this up. This is what he told us. This is what he told my gym class. Like situation for a situation that's like level three, which is like some guy trying to hurt you, um, all you have to, all you have to do is you have to, like, if he grabs you from behind and does, like, the chokehold, turn, turn your head, and if he gets here, because if you turn your head, he won't, you only have three seconds to get out of it, otherwise, like, you're his, you, you faint, you pass out, and then you're gone, you're dead, pretty much. So, turn your head, like this, like I'm doing right now. And hit him in the gut as many times as you can. And then go through his arm, twist his arm, go through it, and then kick him in the shin. And then run like the hammers of hell. Get out of there. Get out. Get out. <laughs> He's gonna hurt you. Run! Next one. Like, next thing to do, but there's a lot to choose from. Um... Next thing you could do, if you're if you're up against the wall and he's like got you here, um, what you gotta do is you gotta step back and go like that, go and go bam, right in the not right in the face, and then run like the hammers of hell, cause he, I don't know. It's usually a guy, but it could be a girl. Same thing goes. I don't know why you would hit them, because with a guy, you just hit them in the crotch. But, I don't know. I really don't remember that much. I'm just kind of saying the stuff that stuck out to me while we were doing it. So, yeah. Don't. Don't completely rely on what I tell you. It's no advice from me, from me, to you, people who are watching this. You should always be aware of what's around you. Like, even if you have headphones in your ears, it's not being par paranoid or being worried or being anxious or whatever. Just, like, turn around and see who's, if anybody's following you. Cross the street twice. If they're still following you once, it's just a coincidence. But if they're still following you the second time you cross the street, like, run. Because they're following you. It's not a coincidence. They're trying to get you. I don't know. Um, a second piece of advice. Always walk around a building corner wide. So if there's somebody, like, around the corner... They want to get you, they can't come grab you. Because if you're walking too close to the wall, they can grab you and then you're, you're theirs. 
But if you walk wide, you can't, they can't. There's less of a chance you'll get grabbed. Always be careful. Like, if you live in Toronto, don't, don't go in an alleyway. You're bound to get kidnapped or shot or stabbed or something like that. If you're anxious and if you're already scared to go outside, I'm very, very sorry. I scared you even more, but it happens in Toronto and every big city, even the little cities. It happens sometimes. Thanks. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and comment what you think of my advice and if you'd actually use it in a fight and my moves. What do you think of my moves? Comment. Comment below. Do it! Bye, guys.